Hello, Hi. lovelies. This is our friend Sharnessa, who is the dyer and owner of P.S. Love the Butterfly by Shars Pearls. Mm -hmm. So, and Sharnessa, tell us, um, where are you from? Where do you dye your yarn? Um, I'm originally from Delaware, um, Newcastle, Delaware, but I am located currently in um, Westminster, Maryland. That's where the, also my studio is. And how did you get started with yarn dyeing? Um, well, basically, I saw a YouTube video and I said, that looks fun. And I think I want to be able to dye some of my own colors to be able to make my projects whatever color I want them. And it just kind of took off from there, so... Okay, so Shar, and on your social media, and I know you've been a fan of our shop for some time, uh, your social media handle is at Shar's Pearls, and I know you do some other crafting as well. How did you come up with P.S. Love the Butterfly? Um, as a kid, I've always loved butterflies, um, and I was trying to figure out a name. I wanted to kind of give it a separate ent entity from Shar's Pearls. And um, when I thought of butterflies, I thought butterflies were kind of like people, even though like they all come like from maybe a certain breed or certain type of butterfly, they still all have their individual markings, just like we have birthmarks or like certain um, skin tones or hair textures different from each other, even if we're from the same race. And I kind of thought that was neat. Um, so that's, I, the butterfly's wings kind of inspired me for this. And when did you start dying? Um, I started dyeing about a year ago, um, kind of around, I say, January of last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, where do you get your color inspiration? Ooh, a little bit of everywhere. Um, it originally started out with the butterfly. I kind of went with butterfly themes, so a lot of my earlier yarns are um, named after actual butterflies and dyed to match um, actual butterflies, like Morpho and um, Purple Stain, stain Dagger Wing. Um, but literally everywhere, this collection in particular is more inspired by the beach. Um, a lot of more beachy colors. Um, the boardwalk, um, flowers, some of them. Um, just summer in general, since I'm doing a, also a lighter weight yarn this time. <laughs> well, excellent. And um, what other type of crafting or making do you do? Um, I do spinning. Um, do you just mean aside from yarn or just period? Aside from dyeing, what else are you making? Oh, well, um, I'm a baker. I, I like to draw. I paint. Um, I do a little bit of everything. I'm just a crafter at heart, an artist at heart. <laughs> and you enjoy knitting and crochet too? Yes. I'm more skilled in knitting. I feel like I, I have more love for that, but I want to get back into crocheting because that was my first love. Um, that was what my mom first taught me. Um, so I would love to kind of expand that eventually. Um, I hope to expand. I hope to not only just um, be in Maryland, I hope to also expand out to Delaware and Pennsylvania and the surrounding states. Um, I hope to be able to even ship cross country eventually. That's awesome. And I know you've got a variety of yarn bases in the show this time, mm -hmm. which is really nice because folks can see, you know, how the colors work up on different types of fiber. Do you have a favorite? Um, I think I do. Like, I think my favorite probably is um, Char's January, just for the simple fact that purple is my favorite color. And I think that's this one, right? By yeah. yes. So that one is your favorite. And yes. then, do you have um, a favorite base, like a favorite yarn base to work with? Honestly, I don't. I love all bases. <laughs> <laughs> So a true fiberista at heart, loving yes. all of the fibers. And did you say that you spin as well? I do. Um, I have a Kiwi at the moment. I'm hoping to get a second one, um, more like the older style. That I know I don't really need another spinning wheel, but I, I just love the art piece behind it. They're beautiful to look at. Oh, I totally understand about the <laughs> wheels and the tools. I feel like uh, fiber is sort of like a... What do they say? This is like a gateway drug. Like once you start with the yarn and mm -hmm. then it's the spinning and the yeah. next thing you know, you're on a farm and you have your own <laughs> sheep and you're on Westminster. There's plenty of room out yeah. there. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Char. Thanks for coming in and 
being on our YouTube channel. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate You're it. You're welcome. <laughs> and uh, I know we all are looking forward to seeing like how your colorways change and progress uh, over time. Definitely. And we certainly look forward to having you at our shop again. Yeah, thank you for having me again. You're welcome. And thank you everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And happy stitching. <laughs>